Hey Bob, it's me today. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about Fortnite. And this will probably be the last Fortnite video of Season 1. Season 2 is coming out on 20th, I believe. So, this should give me enough time for that video to be up on YouTube, and then next season will come around. So, what I want to talk about is kind of a, uh, a review of what exactly happened, or, or the tone of this season more. I'm not gonna go over every little thing. Cause I kinda don't know, I forget. Cause it's been a long season, cause it's been from like, I don't even know when, like end of November, end of, end of November to end of February. <laughs> like, it's just been such a long time. It's been more than two months. So, or maybe, mm, I forget the date when it started, and I have to look it up. Or it'll be on the screen or whatever, I don't know. But, it's been going on for a long time, and the overall tone of this season, is boredom because they they see the battle pass it's really cool it's really fun but after a while after you complete the battle pass there's nothing much to do anymore because the whole level up thing is what makes it fun it's like oh you can level up in game and whatever you do you level up but you leveled up too quickly and that's the thing you're always you always have the the old structure fee, whatever it's called and that's is pretty much the default experience that you get because you never don't have it on unless I don't, I don't know if you have play some amount of time then it'll wear off since I don't play that much it just stays on forever for me so yeah I pretty much feel like well I level up every time I play a game so I mean I'm not complaining but the overall season of this uh, tone is just really boring it's bad the one thing that I just remember talk, thinking about way back when is that if there is no content added to Fortnite, then it's just going to be a battle royale, and that's what it is. There has been no content in this game for a while, and it feels like a battle royale. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. No. People who join the game now will be amazed by it. They'll be like, wow, there's so much to do, so much to see, so much learning to do, and you get better and all kind of stuff. But for the pros, or people who have been playing the game for a long time, like myself, and my friends and pretty much the entire gaming community I've been playing this game since like season three, season two. That's when everyone started playing. It's boring because you've seen everything. What they've done is just you've seen before. And I'm not saying I miss the weekly content because yes, it can get pretty. Uh, what's the term? Congested. Is that what to say? Because it does get pretty hefty when every day there's something new ad or they do a, uh, an update every day. It gets annoying. So I'm glad that there wasn't an update for like two weeks or three weeks. But there's nothing. It's been added. There's been nothing to the game. And it's just... I don't know. I think my point is that this game needs updates. Or else it won't strive anymore. And I can see this game dying in like a couple months even. If this next season doesn't do anything big. And I hope it does. Even though I hate this game and I want to see it burn and die, I do want to see it have one last hurrah from this season. If it can't, then oh well, it's going to die off then. Their fault, not ours. We decide to not do anything unless you are doing something, which I'm giving them benefit of doubt, Epic Games. I'm giving you benefit of doubt because you can do something really good like you've done with a Star Wars event. I understand why there is no if there is no content being added in this season. And all of us being put into next season, I'll be like, you know what? I understand. We just need to wait out and see. Because I think a lot of people are like, oh, there's nothing now. That means they're not doing anything. That means they are doing something. That means probably doing a lot of complicated coding with the Chaos Engine. It's probably one reason, another reason to be. Who knows? Whatever, they're probably planning, like, to season, chapter 2, season 5 already. And they just need a lot of time to code in all this stuff or to know what they're going to do. And they're probably doing collaborations as well. Who knows what they're going to do? They're probably going to change the gaming industry even more. That's why I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here. Because I don't know what they're going to do. I don't work for them. But like I said, if Chapter 2 Season 2 is bad, and uh, then kiss Fortnite goodbye, <laughs> basically. Because everyone's going to leave the game then. Because Ninja and Tifu are upset. And they're biggest two streamers. And they're not happy with it. And you see the pyramid effect. While the other streamers getting really mad and you can see it in their face they're not happy playing the game they're just all sad and droopy and it's kind of funny to watch 
because they're because that's this is their sport like fortnite isn't a game it's a sport like i associate fortnite with football and basketball well mainly because they did collaboration with them but it's in the same vein like you don't like kids play basketball kids play football in the in the fields in the, in the you know in the alleyway they play basketball if you live in a city but same thing happened in fortnite you just play fortnite in your house you see all the big streamers doing it, and they're, they're in tournaments, it's the same concept, it's just in a video game form, but like I said, Fortnite's a sport. It's not like Minecraft, or Rocket League, or um, Red Dead Redemption 2, because those games are video games. Yeah, Rocket League is competitive, but it's not majorly competitive, like the whole entire game isn't based off of competitiveness. Like with Fortnite, what do you think of Fortnite? I'm gonna give you some, what do you think of Fortnite? The first thing that pops in your head, what do you think of Fortnite? when you hear the word Fortnite. You think of, you may think of Ninja, or you may think of competitions, tournaments, if you're a pro player. No one thinks of Fortnite as the video game. They think of it as the tournament game, the sport. Y you have all these pros that warm up every day and create it for a half hour or an hour or whatever. I don't watch that, because that's boring, but you know, that's what they do. I don't know if they live stream it, I have no idea, but that's what these pro players do. It's like basketball and football. You, they practice. They do warm-ups. They spend... The, like when you look at baseball, I think right now in baseball, they're in Florida or whatever practicing. They're warming up. They get ready for the season. That's pretty much what the Fortnite pros do, except in a much shorter, smaller scale. Every day, do, play, going creative, doing their builds, practicing 1v1s, and then going to the actual game. Now, I don't know why they do it every single day if... They're good, like Ninja and Tifa, I guess, warm up. But again, you spend an hour doing that every day, you're gonna eventually get good at it and perfect it. So you may say, what's the point, Keith? What are you getting at? Here's re re regurgitating information. And that's exactly true. That's because what else is there in Fortnite to talk about? That's something that really, really is to think about. What in Fortnite is happening right now? Well, first thing on top of my head is, uh, Rick Ashley emote that came out, which is pretty weird, considering that it's the actual emote, considering that you can get copyrighted and people are getting demonetized because of their videos are getting demonetized. We're trying to Fortnite, but I don't know if that's going to really work out in the end. I, I see them actually changing the emote to just a generic beat that's reminiscent of it with new vocals because, you know, it's, it's copyrighted, so I mean. I mean, YouTube doesn't understand context to videos, but they need to do that, but anyways, that's what's happening in Fortnite right now. There's an emote. That's something. I mean, I guess tournaments? I don't know any tournaments are happening. A lot of what Fortnite was is not there anymore, and that's why the little hope I have of Fortnite is that this new chap, this new season, I mean, could make an impact that actually continues the game. Cause like I said, I hate this game. I don't want to see this game burn and die, but I kind of want to see it have a last good season or two and then go away. Cause Fortnite isn't a game. It's a sport and an event. The Star Wars event showed me that this is not a place where you play a video game and you know, double jump in unlock skill points and all that kind of stuff that you see in a lot of other video games. It's just a, a, a social place. It's like so it's like Twitter, but you can move you can a movable character around. That's all Fortnite is now. It's Twitter, but you can move a character around. That's pretty much sums up Fortnite. I think this is what I remember JJ Abrams, the director of The Rise of Skywalker, said something about that. Like if they a social event or social networking and this is a unique opportunity for him to do which yeah it is pretty much is that's what Fortnite is and that's something that i think is going to continue forward with chapter two and season two and season chapter three chapter four well see season four not chapter i keep messing it up oh my god but that's all i gotta say um yeah, pretty much every jersey tape information, but what else is there in Fortnite? That's all I'm saying. Last video until season two comes out. Because there's nothing to do in Fortnite. And even in my content, you may have seen that there's just nothing to do. And it's just the last video I did I think was a search and destroy, and that's just a copy mode, it's not original. 
Like, we need another Zone Wars, but I'm not gonna play it because I'm not a pro and I'm not good at the game, so I mean. Also, maybe notice in the background footage, there's a mixture of games that I recorded and my past videos from like way long ago. That's just to show you the difference between now and then in the quality. And sorry if the game's lagging, it's Fortnite and half of me, my side, but it's Fortnite's been really laggy and they need to fix that so much, but they can't. They'd rather add the new Rick Ashley emote. <laughs> That's so silly, but. This game's meant for children, not, like I said, this game's a sport. It'd rather focus on that than the actual game itself, but, you know. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You look at the footage from two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Look at that footage and look at it now. Just the difference in myself and the game. So, that's all I'm gonna say. We gotta enjoy this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. Are you excited for Chapter 2 Season 2? Let me know about it down below, even though you won't, because you know why would you comment in a YouTube video? But I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Uh. Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong, I know I've been blessed. I, I had a thousand chances, how many left? I've been sinning lately, what do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999.